Father, we just want to thank you, bless your name, we'll give you praise. Hallowed be your name for this evening's service. Blessed be God. Bridge on us, O God. Let us receive the power to, to do the supernatural in the name of Jesus. Bless our online viewers in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, this morning we'll be looking on the supernatural encounter. You know, the series of messages. Uh, we talked about the battle for the battle of the mind. We also talk about walking in the supernatural. Then last week, uh, last all we talked, we talked about Elijah, uh, the mantle of Elijah. Then on Sunday, we did look on the message, walking in the Holy Spirit. And uh, so today, Thursday, I'll be looking on the message titled, A Miracle Worker. A Miracle Worker. Now, the Miracle Worker is not a title that uh, is given to man. No. Because no man have authority, have all the power to walk on the miraculous without God not backing him. Now, the centurion came to meet Jesus. He said, look, no one can do this except God be with him. So except God be with you as a man, you can't do the supernatural. All right, so as we look on this message, the miracle workers, I will be miracle worker, I will be taking our test from the book of uh, Art of Apostle, chapter 10. And I will be reading, and uh, this was referencing Jesus. The miracle worker. I'll be reading verse 38, Acts chapter 10, verse 38. You see, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. All that was oppressed, no single one that he did not heal. All that was oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. So Jesus Christ is the only miracle worker. We have seen signs and wonder in our ministry. We are just privileged men who have the Holy Ghost have helped in the area of the miraculous. And so no man is qualified for the title, the miracle worker. But Jesus Christ, the only son, the living God. Jesus is only because the son, the living God. As a matter of fact, one of the name of Jesus is called miracle. It's in his name shall be called Miracle, Wonderful Counselor, Almighty God. So it is only Jesus that or put it uh, deeply. You see, there is no case he brought before Jesus that there was no answer. Jesus had not seen the, uh, the lame. He said, ah, I, I cannot hear the lame today. The power is not there. No. Jesus Christ did not see the, uh, the dumb and devil. He said, I will go back again and spend five hours to pray. No. As he see them, he touched them. Bam. And they begin to see, see you. And they begin to hear. So he is a miracle. When Jesus went to the tomb of Lazarus, he didn't say it's like the prayer will not work today. I need to set myself aside. No, because he's the resurrection and the life. So Jesus is the only one that have that title, the miracle worker. You need to you need the anointing to actually work in the supernatural. If we have the anointing, if we if we seek God for the anointing. Who can as well walk in the supernatural as a mortal man? Now, let me read for you the book of, uh, into the Bible study, the book of Luke chapter 10, uh, chapter 4, verse 18. It says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has, now this is Jesus speaking right now. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Now, when he said to the poor, it does not mean somebody who has no money. One can be poor in the state of his head. One can be poor in the state of his mind. He says, so anyone that lacks anything of God is called poor. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to, to the blind, to set at liberty them that are and in verse 19, we're going to say, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book. Now, this was a prophecy by Isaiah. He didn't continue because Isaiah said, and the days of uh, vengeance. Now, because Jesus knew in this time, vengeance have not come. So he closed the book and he gave it back to the rabbi. And they begin to reason among them and say, how oh, come about? This young boy just, how did he know the scriptures? 
because he went to where he keep the scroll and bring it down and open it and begin to read. The miracle worker is Jesus himself. Hallelujah. Now, the anointing is, the, is what we use to do miracle or heal people. Now, the anointing is a body remover. This is the definition now. The anointing is a body remover and yoke-breaking power of God. The anointing is what empowers us as believers to function as a supernatural beings. The anointing is that that enables you to do the supernatural. It is the anointing. Now, now follow me. Let me read this in John chapter 4, verse 33. James chapter 4, verse 33. He said, And in the synagogue was a man who had an spirit of, of unclean devils and cried out with a loud voice, saying, Let us alone. What have you to do with thee, that Jesus of Nazareth? Are thou come to destroy us? I know thee whom thou art, the Holy One of Israel. Look at what he said in verse 15. Verse 25. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold a peace, and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the midst of in the midst, he came out of him and hurt him no more. Now, if it's this, this pastor today, they could have established uh, interviewing the demon. Who are you? When did you come here? Do you know who I am? Do you know I'm Jesus, the Son of God? Do you know you're gonna come out right now? But Jesus, no, there's no time for that. When you interview the interview, keep interviewing the demon, be sharing your microphone with the demon, I tell you, you are wasting your time. You have authority, you are a miracle worker, you have authority to tell them, get out, and they'll get out. You need the anointing to break the, uh, the anything, the anointings in the man's life. Anointings to break any anointings in any man's life. What is that anointing? Poverty is an anointing, sickness anointings. Parent is anointings. Anything at all that they will not give you joy is an anointing. So you need the anointing to break that other that bondage. Hallelujah. Miracles are real and they still happen. People say miracle is no more miracle. The days of apostles, that's where the miracle is. No, miracles still happen. If you've done miracles, you need, to, you need to even watch some of our meetings, some of our crusades. You're going to see miracles, raw miracles. You're going to see creative miracles. If you are watching me right now, you that miracles. In fact, our faith will join to faith and you can be healed. You can send us a prayer request or you can offer us call us. We're going to stand together and pray and ask this Lord. This time does not separate of no moving. He will come and heal. So miracles still happen. Now, but there are different between miracles and magic. Magic is commonly seen everywhere. You can go to the park wherever you are. You can see some people using night to cut themselves. They can go to the park where you are. You can see some play with some reptiles. Those are magic. They are not miracles. Magic does not last. Miracle is forever. Miracle lasts forever. Because miracle is from God and is permanent. If you keep following his word. If you keep following his word. You don't just get miracle and just go. Most times people go to our church and um, after the healing they just go. You don't see them anymore. Some of us would just wonder, wow, what is going on? There was a case of a lady where uh, she came with two crutches that Sunday. And by the mercy, sure mercy of God and the compassion of God, she was healed. And after that, we thought she's going to come with her family the next Sunday to give a testimony. But no. The person that brought her, we said, what of that lady? He went to begin to follow the lady up. They said the Sunday he got uh, healed. In fact, she declared drinks for uh, booze. They were drinking in the home, saying that she's okay now. And I said, tell her to come up to church. And she said, well, uh, if someone go to hospital, if the person is healed, can't he go back home? Was he stay in that place? So they tend to church to be in hospital. Well, church is not a hospital. Nobody charge you for, uh, for, uh, for, they don't put a price for miracle. You don't say, okay, but you pay this price before you can be healed. No. It comes from, from God and only God that can heal. You know, so we need to actually understand how God heals and how God works. If you want the miracle of God, miracles are valuable. God is not dead. The only way we will not pray for miracle is when we get to heaven. Because in heaven, you've done the miracles. 
Really, any miracle here on earth now because we are fighting within flesh. And the spirit, flesh and spirit are fighting together. The devil and the righteous are fighting. So we need miracles in this time we're working. Hallelujah. And the mistake many people made is that they compare hospital to the house of God. Hospital is not, it's not house of God. No, it's not. Even the doctor, genuine doctor said that they cares what God heals. So healing is not in the hands of the medical doctor. No, it's in the hands of the God, of the mighty God. What if they give you that medication and refuse to work? So it is only God that heals. We're going to be very brief in this, uh, this evening uh, Bible study. But I want you to understand if you are sick right now, you're watching me. I want you to understand that God still heals. If you are confused about whether you be whether you be healed or not, I want you to understand his his mercy fail not. He still heals today. So you need to stand on the word of God. This is the reason why majority of, of people when when they because of their mentality, when they get healed in the church, they walk away. But the pain still come back. Because they need God for the pain to stay, for, for the healing to stay perpetually. You need God. You can, God is not a man that you deceive and don't go, no, you need God. When God heal you, he expects you to follow him and worship him all the days of your life. Keep giving testimony about the miracle power of God. Hallelujah. Now, uh, Luke chapter 17, verse, as we bring, it, bring this out to close, Luke chapter 17, verse 17. I'm talking about Jesus now when he healed the lepers. Now, there's, uh, let me read, let me read verse 13, let me read for, take it from verse 14. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go, show thyself yourself unto the priest. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. The lepers were cleansed. The ten were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was, clean, he was healed, he turned back. And with a loud voice, glorifying God, and fell down on his face at the, at the feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. The remaining night, they had to come unto Jesus. He said, ah, he's not Jesus, he's not son of David. We don't need to go back and, and say, well, we are healing. But no. But this Samaritan bowed down in verse 17. And Jesus answered and said, We did not ten cleans, but we are the nines. It is only nine. It is only ten where he, ten were healed, but it's only one that was made whole. Then the family team being whole, being healed and being made whole. Where are the nine? Verse 18. It said, Dear are not found that return to give glory to God, save the stranger. And he said unto them, Arise, go thy way, for thy faith have made thee whole. The rest one nine, they were healed, but they were not made whole. Made whole means your to, to tell you to tell each other the healing. Nothing at all come back again. So when you receive healing and ministry that's through online, we we, we 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 appreciate your feedback for your testimony so that other people can came to it. We expect your testimony. You can drop your testimony on the comment section. That I was sick, I was that, and I listened to the man of God and, and I got healed. Healing our children. Tonight, as we bring the service to close, I want to pray for the sick. Wherever you are, whatever pain may be in your body, lay your hand upon that place right now. Baku nese na katayaba, jile leko susa kabana haya, leko ko Lord, you are the miracle workers, and this time does not separate you from one movie. Behold the people. We are asking and praying, O oh God. We don't know their condition right now, but that know us. Whatever pain may be in our body, we declare right now, be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, heal them totally in the name of Jesus. Wherever pain could it be for a, 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 a migraine, be healed. Could it be eyesight, be healed. Are you dumb and deaf? Begin to hear now, right now. Begin to speak in the name of Jesus. That part of paralysis, I declare you healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be healed. Be healed. Be healed, be healed. We declare you healed right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my God and my Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, our prayer is simple and God heals so, so quickly. So begin to check yourself right now. 
if you are watching me and you, you, you notice the ceiling in your body, drop that testimony on the comment section. Um, we will share it and I believe God other, it will strengthen other people's testimony. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now today we want to take our offering. If you, uh, you, want to, you want to give an offer, you want to partner with us, our banking details will appear on the screen right now. Take advantage of all those uh, banking details and drop your offering. But if you don't live in all those region, you can go to our website and go to put a call to it and you drop your offering through there. As you receive your offering, your heavens are open and we're praying for you in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I bless your name. I give you praise for this offering. Lord, bless this offering, O God, of your people in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my God and my Father. For that seed will not die, but will germinate and bring more harvest. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Now before we go, our books are in social media platform, uh, Amazon, uh, Google Play Books, Roku and other platform. Please take advantage of this platform and order your books. As you read it, uh, you're going to see the mystery of the gospel. Not everything we can preach for the 30 minutes or of 20 minutes. No, you need to read this book be blessed. Hallelujah. Now may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you in the name of Jesus. But hear this, no matter what matters, know that the same God is still at work in your life. Don't give up. The devil is about to turn back. You are a winner always. Say to you, cha-cha, God bless you.